Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I've just... Uh, <laughs> I've just plugged the battery in. <laughs> and then hit the kill switch to see if anything comes on. And something... <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I can't see exactly what's burnt, but I know what's happened. Um... I don't know if you, you can see here, I've got, these are the two wires for the kill switch, the red, sorry, the white and the yellow, and they go directly to the battery. Here's the e-lock. <laughs> I haven't even wired it up. All I've done is taken the switch wires and connected them positive and negative on the battery and obviously when you flick the switch... <laughs> How did I make such a stupid bloody schoolboy error? But there was a lot of smoke, but it still works, I don't get it. I don't know what's burnt. There's no... There's no signs of burning anywhere. It was just a lot of smoke. Oh yeah, everything's all the indicators, the lights, the relays, they all work. I don't get it. Obviously, I've got to take it off again. <laughs> it kind of burnt the controller out. All right, you ready for this? So all the lights work. It can't have burnt the controller out because literally all it is is just positive. I put positive and negative. I just bridged it. That's all. The wires don't seem to be fried at all. I don't get it. I'm going to video it this time. <laughs> this is the first time I put it on. This is going to make a right crack. Like that. Impossible to do with one hand, but there you go. There's my sacrificial wire in case anything goes wrong. So now, when I hit the switch... I'll get an email. As you can see, I've got a flashy light, which is an error light, which means that the Sabaton's powered up. Finally! The only thing is, the switch is backwards. That's... That's kill. That's enable. Never mind. That will confuse the shit out of someone who wants to nick it. So I can unplug that, which is fused. Turn that off. Next thing is uh, hall wires, phase wires. Do I want to do that yet? Now, one of the things that I might need is that on the throttle here. Uh, unless I can calibrate it correctly, I may need to put a resistor in line, but I don't know. That's just for the throttle. That one is for the reverse, which I'm not using. Cruise, I'm not using. Uh, low speed, high speed, I'm not using. That one's for the e-brake, which I'm not using. Am I? No, because it's going to be controlled by the throttle. Anti-theft, don't need it. Brake, I've done that one. No idea. And that one is the hull meter, which I don't know where that goes yet. So what I've got to do is these wires here, these are already lined up. I've got a positive and a negative that goes to the positive and the negative on the hull wires. So those two, I've got to go to those two, like that, and then that one itself, I know I've got, that one's green, <laughs> it's yellow but green, yellow and then blue, and what's the other one, white, which go to the corresponding wires on here on the whole sense wires. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to put a multi-plug plug connector, I've got some waterproof connectors which I'll show you in a sec, which I'm going to be using for these, so I need a one, 
two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, that's the temperature sensor. The white one is the temperature sensor, which is the same on that one. So I need a six pin connector, which I'm going to put on now. I've got these connectors, these are waterproof connectors and they are bloody massive I know but I need waterproof connectors. Um, I've tinned the, these, once I've stripped these wires I always tin them to stop any fray wires or stop it fraying. So I've done that. Uh, these things what you do is, you get one of these focus you you get one of these and you feed it on the wire like that and then you crimp it and then you feed it in and then that's, that acts as a seal it's supposed to be anyway but it might be a bit too small that'll be fine I'm going to try and talk you through the whole sense test now I've got all my whole wires connected uh, the phase wires are connected the kill switch is enabled so it's actually got power to the subvaton so if I select the motor oh it's working so what we want to do is go on to the left icon which is the spanner one now the given current you need to set to something decent. I mean, I, I, if you set it too low what happens is it hasn't got the power to overcome the magnets so it starts judder, it, it goes around in a juddery motion so I normally set, well I set that to, actually I think it was 15 one-handed Tony, 15 amps so that'll set the test current at 15 amps um, I'm a bit bloody nervous <laughs> <laughs> normal operation we need test mode and we need to set the whole test now I may have to drop the camera quickly because I ain't got a clue what's going to happen here here we go so then you, you select whole test now it slowly goes around it will go around until it finds a whole sensor and then it goes and tests where the next whole sensor is so it gives it a, a whole angle and when it's done you click test ok hey <laughs> after a power cycle fingers crossed Normal run. Normal run. Whole value. I don't know. What's whole value mean? I don't know. Throttle obviously isn't connected yet. Nothing's connected. So that should be free now. Yeah. It's all done. That's the whole sense test. The whole angle test. It's all working perfectly. So I'll get back to my wire and I'm going to put the throttle on now. Well I've loosely wired the throttle very accurately uh, I feel this thing will focus I've, I've <laughs> just to try it out Hey! <laughs> I haven't got any regen, I haven't got any, um, the throttle's not calibrated, I've still got to adjust it, I may have to add a resistor, I don't know yet, but it's working. Hey! As you may or may not know, this is a domino throttle. It does that. The only trouble is, listen to that, there's a micro switch on it. When you pull the throttle, it opens. When you let go of the throttle, it closes, which means that it's normally closed. 
Now, I've got a bit of a problem again, as I did with the brake levers and the switch on those. I can't use regen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it's these I think it's these two wires, the two green wires here. So the two green wires, what I'm going to have to do is feed them into the Arduino, and then the Arduino is going to have to invert the signal so as it outputs um, it outputs to the regen, which is this one here. Uh, so it's that one there. So it's got to. When I open the throttle, it'll close. No, when I open the throttle, it'll open the relay, and then when I close the throttle, it'll close the relay, and it, and initiate the regen. So I've got to do that, unfortunately. Now on the relays themselves, ow, my knees. <laughs> There's eight relays there, uh, and I'm only using seven. Luckily, I kept a spare one, so I'm going to use it for that. So I've got to wire that up, which is going to be quite straightforward, I hope. Possibly, maybe. I bought some scales. Not to weigh me, because I don't give a shit. I'm single, and I'm a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> but because I want to weigh the battery and I want to weigh the bike and everything else. What the hell's this? It's got a button. Are there any. Uh, what is it? I need it. So I'm going to weigh the battery. I'm quite disappointed. I thought it was double that. That's quite impressive actually. I must be getting old and I'm... Uh... I've been balancing the wheel. Um, the way that I do it, and it's the same way as I did it before, you have to do it dynamically, you can't just take it off and it doesn't work like that. I did try it before but it didn't, it just didn't work at all. So, what I do is I spin it up, get some weights, put them at various points and see if the vibration increases. If it makes no difference wherever you put it, you add more weights and then go around and then add more weights and go around and keep going around until you get it perfect. <laughs> That's how much weight I've had to add. So what I've got to do now is take the tyre off uh, without taking the wheel off because everything's all connected now. Take the tyre off, uh, put that on. I hope I can get the tyre off. <laughs> Put that on on the inside and the inner in the valley sort of thing. Tape over it. Put the tire back on. Blah blah blah. Obviously, I can't just stick that on there like that. I'm gonna have to space it out on around that sort of area. Fingers crossed. I'm sorry to those people who liked the mud hugger. That's hard to say. <laughs> uh, I've had to chop it off. I've had no choice at all. Uh, 8 inches comes to about there so it would have actually touched it I mean it's, it's a lot it's a lot more sturdy now it was all floppy before oh this is full of double entendres so that's done um, the wiring's done it's tidied up sort of and it's held together so I'm going to try and get the belly pan on there, just to see if it fits. I've still got to do a bit on the Arduino, a bit more programming, and then it's ready. So I think, yeah, I'm going to put the belly pan on in a minute. Belly pan's fitted, although I've got to reprint it. Uh, because of things like that, uh, I've got to have grommets, anything that goes into an enclosure has to have a grommet around it and also on the back I've got to do, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet but it's got to have a grommet around it to stop it from chafing 
So, kill switch enable. The regen I've set it so as it comes on with the throttle. Uh, when you let go of the throttle, the regen kicks in. I'm not using the switch, I'm not using the brake switches, the brake lights are working. The indicators are all working. Telltales are all working. Headlights work. Side lights. Headlights. Main beam. Turn the headlights off, turn the side lights off, and the main beam doesn't do anything. That was a bit of a challenge trying to get that so as it doesn't do anything when the headlights are off. Uh, the flash isn't connected, but everything else is. So, apart from um, things like the grommet or reprinting that, redoing that casing. Uh, what else is there? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, that wire there. See those two thin wires? They're my sacrificial wires. Now, when I run this thing up full pelt, they barely get warm. So it doesn't actually draw a lot of, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of power when there's no load on it. So when you put the load on, there's the problem. The other thing I want to do something about is the seat. Last week I turned the bike upside down and I left it with this on resting on the seat and it's bent it. So I'm gonna have to that used to be sort of a there used to be a kick up piece there and it's flat now. So I'm gonna have to do something, I'll have to take it apart and possibly fiberglass it just to reinforce it. Uh, what else was I was going to do? Oh yeah, I might take the springs off to make it lower. So I, I reckon another couple of weeks and I'll be out on it, riding it happily, going through speed cameras below 30 miles an hour. <laughs>